Hello and welcome to another episode of Scrap Rabbit Gaming with me, Scrap Rabbit. As you can see, back into transistor. We're in the maintenance area. And I want to know what these launchers are. This launcher. Three. Oh. These guys. Oh. Okay. It's all you. Flash out of range. updated. Maybe this one. Not everyone wears the Darcy brand. However, two years ago, more than 56% of individuals between the ages of 16 and 42 showed interest in or complimented someone wearing Mr. Maximilius Darcy's clothing. The self-styled Cloudbank clothier became a fashion icon in his early 20s when he was introduced to the world in me introduced to the world a garment line that boldly eschewed formal tradition. Not only that, so prolific was his work that seemingly everyone in Cloud Bank, in reality it was only 8% of the population at the time, found garments that spoke to them as individuals. In spite of all this, all was not well in Mr. Darcy's life. That's your slot. Yeah. Alright, let's do some housekeeping. All right. Launch. We want to get up top. There's a launcher over here. Launch. OVC terminal. This isn't what they wanted. The process. Those things. They don't answer to us anymore. They don't answer to anyone. We thought maybe we could stop them without the transistor. As you can see, that isn't going well. Though I suppose you're not about to just hand it over, are you? After all we've done. Good question. Other side. Having fun? Yes. Yes, I am. Just don't drop me. Gotta be something we can use in here. Not what I had in mind. Oh.
flap. Good stuff. Should be a level up. There we go. We're getting there. Flood. Just the sort of spheres that disintegrates targets in the path. That's the function. Destructive effects generates an artifacts of targets. Okay. Void. Defenses and attacks stacks three times. Oh, I did it stacks three times. I didn't know that. Augment the potency effect. Definitely more mem. Where to? Files updated. Oh yeah, and I had a new limiter. Designation jerk. Wouldn't want to agitate this particular specimen, which strongly advise against any such thing. Do not disturb. Although it is quite docile, really. Not easily disturbed, but not to be disturbed. Its large frame suggests to me it is an older form, less efficient, less capable in some ways, though specialized, specialized like all the rest. It wouldn't still be around if it didn't have its uses, and just like it, just you look at it, you can guess what it's for, I'm sure. You need a good plot of land to build upon. Why, here's the process you ought to call. Plus. Grapple shot. Grapple shot. If you're in here, you've been processed. Wait. Wait, wait. I... In private, Mr. Darcy suffered from certain dependencies he believed were the source of his talent, or rather the source of his inspiration. Unfortunately, he was correct in this assessment. When he decided to come forward and wean himself from these dependencies, after an initial public outpouring of support, his career started to falter. His ideas came less quickly, or he could not act on them as quickly. And so, against the wishes of his closest confidant and partner, he resumed his old habits. It was then that Mr. Darcy met certain individuals professing knowledge of his condition, who invited him to participate in an experiment that could cure him without compromise. Believing he had little to lose, Mr. Darcy decided it was worth a shot. Huh. Alright. Better already. Hey, it goes with your hair. Guess you should be flattered. It was nothing personal, you know. You were valuable, handpicked, unique, but one of many. All we needed was your point of view, to give the people what they didn't know they wanted. That's all we ever wanted. 
all Grant ever tried to achieve. The rest was merely incidental. What good could four individuals ever hope to accomplish in this city with only their own four voices? Well, we found our answer. You have it right there in your hands. The ringleader's right upstairs. It's a weed. may seem mundane for the Camerata to take interest in a man like Mr. Darcy, yet from the Camerata's perspective, he was perfect. Here he was, someone with a capacity to sway thousands in a subtle way, but whose career appeared to be waning. The public would readily accept that such a man, publicly disgraced, would decide to head to the country away from the bustle of city life, and indeed the public took the news at face value, all but Mr. Darcy's confidant and the camera to dealt with separately. Most children learn to stop asking why. It's recorded. Okay. But Mr. Asher Kendall, Kendrell never outgrew it. His hunger for knowledge and his eagerness to spread it made him a prolific writer who enjoyed a career as a culture and current events editor of the OVC. When Mr. Kendrell wasn't busy reporting, he occupied himself studying the history of his city, but the deeper he delved, the more frustrated he became with all the dead ends and contradictions. The facts simply did not add up, so he started piecing together the unwritten history of Cloudbank. He conducted interviews of venerable members of society, those who willingly worked past retirement age or could speak firsthand about the past. The most remarkable among them was an administrator. Interesting. Alright, that should do. Knew it. Should be another one just like this, other side of the tower. Let's conduct an authorized administrator maintenance. Okay. Ready for more? No Got jumping in the lift, okay? Alright, let's check across the hall. Hit the beach. Oh, 
sure why not. And with free experience. Time to prep for a big meeting with Asher and Grant. Okay, now uh, the doors are open. Okay, so I want to know why he's not processed. That's that's a big deal to me. Well, he's recorded, but not processed. That doesn't make much sense. Uh, what do they hope to gain? Still shut tight. First set of locks are down low. Storage archives. Yeah, we'll just take a peek. Somewhere in here, there's a file on everyone in town. Safe and secure. But, we just updated some files. A file. Mr. Kendrell was struck by the administrator's wisdom and depth of experience, and the two shared a passion for seeking the truth of things for much more. As it turned out, one day the administrator took Mr. Kendrell aside to a place unlike any he'd seen before, and revealed to him something he never could have imagined. With it, the administrator said, together they could learn so much about the past, about the future, as long as Mr. Kendrell was willing to keep it a secret. Mr. Kendrell accepted without a second thought. The administrator was much more to him than just a source at this point. around toward the back. Some kind of break room up there. Guess if you're gonna spend hours poring over files, we're running half across town. 
Eventually, you're gonna need a break. Go ahead. It's open. Pretend I'm not here. Just hurry back. So they need us to help fix their mistake. Okay. What if they even want with us? Oh, great. Self. Self. Shield? You, you have got to be kidding me. Mr. Kendrell continued writing for the Ill for OVC, now with an ulterior motive. Having joined the administrator's inner circle, the administrator needs someone like Asher to help keep a low profile. Someone who could speak directly to the hearts and minds of the population and truly understand their needs. That way they could conduct their work in the service of the people. Cloud, Cloud Bank would enter a new era. All right, I've been recording for about 30 minutes, um, so I'm going to cut it here. This is getting really interesting. Um, really interesting. Yeah. I am... Oh, I'm so interested. I really want to know what the camarada's plans are. I want to know... What's up with Grant? Is Grant being processed? Is Grant just a program? And, it, and it's de destabilizing? Oh, that could be a thing. Anyways, we're gonna know here soon. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, 
Thank you all for joining and have a wonderful evening.